Good morning and welcome to Thursday Mornings, Early Morning Intuitive Guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, here with some words of wisdom to start your day off well, get you thinking about some things, maybe practicing some new behaviors, and overall turning the world into a better place for all of us. So let's start as always with our nice deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Good morning, Ruth Ann. Welcome, welcome. And it went from zero to three, just like that. <laughs> Ruth Ann, you're the only one who's popping up. So welcome to, our, there's Abigail. Good morning. Glad you're here. We'll see who else popped on. So welcome. We're just doing our breathing. <sighs> nice, deep belly breaths. Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome, welcome. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. <sighs> Settling into right here, right now. <sighs> Feeling your heart chakra spinning open. That will be important for this particular card. So let's warm our hands up. Good morning, Peggy. Welcome. Good morning to the others who are here who aren't showing up. We have six so far. And then I want you to just place them over your heart. And just breathe into your heart space. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Mel. Welcome, welcome. Just breathing open your heart. good time of year with all the hustle bustle to take the time to open up your heart space to be a little extra kind a little more patient good morning Debbie welcome welcome everybody rolling in here we just have our hands over our heart just opening our heart chakra ready to receive this message and our message today comes from, thank you for the Christmas tree, comes from the Virtues Reflection Cards by the Virtues Project. And they come, I just got to show you, they come in this wonderful little bag. So while some of the rest of them have boxes, this one comes in a little bag, which I really like. So Virtues Reflection Cards by the Virtues Project. A set of 100 contemplative cards to help you awaken your spirit and live by your deepest values. So the value we're going to be practicing today is mercy. Good morning, Gwen. Welcome, welcome. Good morning to everyone who's here. If I missed you by name, glad you're here. Mercy. That is what we are working on is mercy. So again, just feel into your heart space. Mercy is blessing others with our compassion and forgiveness. No snow here either. Yay. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a brown Christmas. It works. We're touched by people's suffering and want to help. I like this next part. I just think this is so cool. Justice is giving people what they deserve. Mercy is giving them more. Good morning, Joyce. Welcome, welcome from down south. Glad you are here. Mercy is giving them more. We are merciful when we give ourselves and others a fresh chance after an offense or mistake. Nothing inspires hope so much as a clean slate. And actually hope, <clears throat> excuse me, is what I picked for my theme for my January newsletter. So glad you're smiling. That is good. That is good. When we have the humility to remember the countless mercies we receive throughout life, we can find it in our hearts to show mercy to others. We offer the gift of our tenderness. No one is as hard on us as we are, right? So it's time to get off our own backs. I always like saying that because the visual is just hilarious, right? But be kind to ourselves. Be at least as kind to ourselves as we are to other people, if not more so. So the quote is from The Merchant of Venice by William Shakespeare. The quality of mercy is not strained. It droppeth as the gentle rain from heaven upon the place beneath. It is twice blessed. It blesseth him that gives and him that takes. So in terms of this season of giving and receiving, know that if you're on the receiving end, you do a great service to the other person when you receive with grace. There are so many people who struggle with receiving. They want to give, 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 but not receive anything. That's not how this thing works. Think about breathing. If all we do is give, 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 pretty soon there's nothing left. When there's a balance between receiving and giving, everything flows as it's meant to be. So be an open receiver. All you have to say is thank you. Thank 
you. That's sufficient. Good morning, Beth. Welcome, welcome. So we're practicing our receiving this season. Most of us have this giving thing down in spades, but that receiving part we got to work on. So here's your opportunity. <clears throat> so here are the I statements around the practice of mercy. Yes, Many of us have problems receiving. So we are going to practice this season. When someone wants to give us something, think about how lovely it feels for you when you give somebody something and they're all excited about it. It warms your heart, doesn't it? How about you gift the other person who wants to give you something, that warmth of heart, by receiving gracefully? There it is. That's your challenge. So here are the I statements. Here are the I statements. The practice of mercy. I am compassionate and forgiving. And I'm going to add on, including with myself. I am compassionate and forgiving. My heart is moved by the suffering of others. And for a lot of us, especially if we're empathic, it's painful when others are suffering. And so sometimes we um, have defended our tender hearts by sealing them over, putting them in, encasing them in metal, <clears throat> sometimes even becoming blame mongers. Well, if they hadn't done this, it wouldn't have happened. Well, it's their fault for living there. It's their fault for this. But they made their bed lie in it, blah, blah, blah. That's all defensive stuff. All that judgment is defending our tender hearts. I, on the other hand, if we can allow our tender hearts to feel the pain that we feel when someone else is suffering, I think it will help move us into, and what can be done about this? What can be done about this? Sometimes suffering is an important part of our process, right? The suffering helps weld it into our brains about something that we're learning. Yeah, I don't wanna be here again. Um, I'll make something up. I've spent all of my money without paying attention to bills that I owe, and now I'm in debt and I'm suffering. I'm going to allow that suffering to help me learn not to do that again, to pay attention to what I owe first and then have money to spend on fun stuff. All right? So lessons to be learned. I overlook mistakes. And what that means is we offer some grace when somebody screws up, okay? So <clears throat> if someone says something that's a little off or if someone is kind of lunk-headed in how they're dealing with a situation, they aren't perceiving all that would be good for them to perceive in terms of making their answer. Good morning, Lucy. Welcome. Overlook that a little bit or show them some grace, some kindness. I'm wondering if you are aware of how this is impacting so-and-so, whatever. <clears throat> Overlooking the mistakes, allowing for their humanity. We all screw up. We all have bad days. We can give people the benefit of the doubt. So my example always is, if I'm walking down the hall and Fred walks past me and I say, hi, Fred, and Fred just keeps walking, I get to decide what that means. Fred, what a jerk. He didn't say hi to me. I'm not talking to him ever again. Fred, he didn't say hi to me. I wonder if he's okay. Fred, he must be really distracted. Hmm. I get three different reactions depending on how I process Fred walking past me. All right? I'm the one who gets to decide. And since I don't know for sure, unless I go and ask Fred, since I don't know for sure, I'm going to choose to default to the choice that makes me feel the best. Fred was distracted. Okay? I give others and myself the chance to start over. I give my others, I give others, my others, I give my others and myself the chance to start over. So that can be in a conversation. I have, we have done this, my sister and I, where we get into something unpleasant, one or the other of us will go, wait, wait, wait. I'm crabby, I'm tired. This is probably not a good time for us to have this conversation. Can we do a do-over tomorrow? ask. Good morning, Mary. Thank you for my cup of coffee. Awesome, awesome. I'm thankful for the divine mercies I have been shown. Sometimes the universe cuts us some slack, right? We make a stupid driving error and don't get killed. We get shown some mercy. So being grateful for that mercy that the universe shows us. I treat others tenderly. 
I treat others tenderly. And notice that when you do that, it's hard for someone else to stay inflamed if you're in that place of peace and calm. And, well, let's see what we can do about this. Let's see what we can do to figure this out. You know, and you come at it from a perspective that knows, helps them know you're aligned with them. You're not, you know, facing off against them. And the last is, I am thankful for the gift of mercy. It makes my life a blessing. I am thankful for the gift of mercy. It makes my life a blessing. So that is our challenge for today. Practicing mercy, blessing others and ourselves with compassion and forgiveness. Have an awesome Wednesday. Wednesday, Thursday. Missed a day there. Have an awesome Thursday. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.